good morning guys i feel like it has been a really long time since i vlogged i hope you guys can hear me clearly it is currently saturday morning and i am fully kitted in my riding gear because we are going on an out of town ride today zach and i are in this riding group called um the inked bikers and today we are having an out of town overnight ride it's really special because this is the first time that zach and i are going on an overnight ride together we've done um long distance like out of town rides but we haven't um done any like overnight ones so it's really exciting unfortunately though he's not able to come like right now because he has um a saturday morning commitment that he does every saturday morning so he can't ride with us this morning but i'm going ahead with the rest of the group we're about like five or six of us and then he's gonna join us um a little bit later on in the afternoon but anyway so it is currently 8 a.m and we are supposed to be um meeting here at this we are at astral Pet petrol station astral i don't know if i've been shown you have i showed you guys anything <laughs> anyway we are at astral petrol station on lenana road it's so loud here i don't even know if you can hear me because i can barely hear myself um, but yes, we are meeting here at 8.15, so I have about 15 minutes. I want to grab um, like something quick to bite for breakfast upstairs at Java um, as I wait for the other guys to come because we are, we are supposed to be meeting at 8.15, so I have a whole 15 minutes. I left the house early because I really did not want to be that one. I hate being that one person who delays everyone. So yeah, I don't know what's happening with my face. It feels a little puffy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I feel cute and I feel ready for the ride. We are riding to Elementita which is exciting i've never done that ride before i'm a little bit nervous because it says it's gonna be raining and there'll be some fog and already you know that naivasha route how there's like next to the escarpment it's really really um yeah it's really chancy already so i'm a bit nervous but i'm sure it's gonna be fine anyway let me go catch some breakfast and then i shall meet up with you guys all later i've got my breakfast i ordered um it's called a, can a ginger scone or something like that i just like the taste of ginger so i've gotten that the sitting um eating this 10 minutes I'll go down to the girls shop. guys we have arrived at lemon valley elementita it is so beautiful ignore these lines on my head this is obviously the helmet but my god what a fantastic ride and this place is so beautiful i'll take you guys around but it is amazing so amazing we had stopped at uh, buffalo mall naivasha to have some something to eat as you saw and now we are here look at that So we have just been shown our room and i'm gonna show you what it's like just now but this is the view i'm standing out on the balcony this is the view outside the room i'm panting because we literally yeah so that is the lake right there i think that's lake elementaita there is another cabin on this side and there is um a cabin on that side that's where um the other guys will come with us staying zach and i are staying in this cabin let me show you what it looks like 
um so it's pretty small and simple this is you walk in literally and the bed is just here it's a nice big bed though and on this side there's like a seat there is some coffee yeah so there is some coffee the room is it's very nice and small and simple by the way the cost was four thousand per night per person and then this i guess is the bathroom let me switch on the light it's quite nice there's a toilet i like the wooden walls it's really really pretty there are towels here and there is lots of tissue there there is a mirror there is a shower there which i hope is gonna be hot and there is shower gel that's really nice so that is the room now we are just about to leave to go to um a place called elementator lodge because one of the ladies we've come with her brother is there and they're gonna feed us food so yay i'm not gonna ride there although two of the other ladies are gonna ride there but i'm just feeling tired and like i don't want to ride no more but i've just spoken to zach zach has just left nairobi so he should be here in another i don't know maybe two and a half hours because he rides really fast or maybe even two hours um yeah so i am just taking off my shoes and my um knee guards and stuff i'm just going to put on like sandals or something like that and then one of the ladies came in a car so we had put our bags in there so i'm gonna go with her in the car to uh elementator lodge but it's been a really nice ride it was really nice it was quite foggy um in some parts it didn't rain at all which we are so grateful for because i'm really really nervous about riding in the rain it didn't rain it was just really foggy really cold at some points like i cold like i can't feel my fingers but i'm happy that we have arrived and the place is pretty and i'm excited to be here and excited to just have a really nice weekend with zach and with friends and it's gonna be a fantastic time yeah so anyway let me not be that one person who delays everyone in terms of leaving so i'm gonna go um uh, meet up with the other girls and we're gonna head out so cold so perfectly chilled apple juice yum to die <laughs> to feed people oh sir ki rota mero kon jaadu ha i missed this bit of the yeah sack is here now <laughs> hi hi <laughs> again <laughs> i think <laughs> Me and Focus is where I'm stepping, where I'm riding. That's true. That's true. I didn't see what I was on the side. So it's evening. We're back in the room now. Just wanted to show you. This is the stairs that lead up to our room, and this is what the cabin looks like from outside. We are in the turquoise cabin. So beautiful. So cute. What do you think of the room, babe? It's nice. It's cute and Very cozy. Good. And it's self-contained. Yeah. Nice. It's super cozy. Super, super cozy. They look so new. This is what it looks like outside our room at night. So many lights. I think that's that's Nakuru, babe. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many lights. Uh -huh. yeah. Hi, guys. So it's much, much later on now. Zach is handily holding the camera. Thank you, babe. Thank you, babe. Thank you. You're uh welcome. <laughs> Yeah, so from what you guys saw, we um, got to the camp okay. It's been really, really nice so far. We went to um, a camp which is close by here. It's called Duara Flamingo Camp. We went there. One of us, our brother, her brother, okay, our brother, look at how I'm claiming him. Her brother was there, so he fed us. We ate, and then we came back, and then Zach came, and another guy who was joining us came. So we are a whole party of five, six. How many are we? Five. We are six. Because huh? there's four chicks and you guys, you two. Sindio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So now we are a whole party. <laughs> so we are a whole party of six. So we came back. We Zach and the other guy had something to eat. We chilled in the room, Zach and I. And now we are just going to the other cabin to join the other guys because they have a nice sitting room and an electric fireplace apparently, which I just can't wait to just try it out. At the end of this video, by the way, I will list down or rather I'll describe like the review of the place and the details and the prices. So I'll let you guys know how it's going. But basically, so far, so good. We're just gonna go and enjoy our evening, have some dinner, have some drinks, and just chill. 
That is uh, Cabrin. <laughs> Where is it? Can you see? Mm. <laughs> yeah, up there is where we're going. The annoying music is coming from down there where someone is having a birthday party. Can you see? Well, can you see where the light is? Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. So this is the other cottage. It has three rooms. One, two, and this is the third room. That one of the other guys are sleeping in. That's a lot. So it's your everyday bike. My everyday bike. Seventeen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Photography. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Pass. Pass. Oh, um, uh, welding. Photo. No. Then we was too far. Oh. My God. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Photo set. I don't know. What that is. Is. <laughs> Good morning. This is the view right outside our room. This morning it is dull and gloomy. It was drizzling just a few minutes ago, but now the drizzle is gone, thank God, but it's still a bit foggy. We're about to go down for breakfast. Over. Good morning, guys. Morning, babe. Morning. How, How are, are you? you? Good, good. Yeah. Mm. We, so after a really, really nice evening, where we went to the other cottage and we had, we played games, we drank drunk drinks, <laughs> we drank drunks. Wow. We drank drunks. We ate yummy dinner. Um, we came back and our night has been um, half and half, right? Yeah. Yeah. The party people were on and on yeah. about the music. What time did it finish, by the? I don't know. I think it was around four. We thought, yeah, and then somebody came to this side here with uh with some of the music, babe. I had it, I swear. No. Yeah, I had. It's locked from the outside. Me had, babe. I had someone around here. I was like, why is the music on this side of the room? Honestly, I might was in my dreams. It was in your dreams. Anyway, so we didn't sleep so well because now the music for some reason the music was really loud in our room and wasn't really loud in like our friends cottages cottage which is so unfortunate but their cottage is lined with wood yeah so, so they it's like, like um, sound soundproof sound thing yeah. yeah so we didn't sleep so well but from that time when the music stopped to like in the morning i think i slept really nicely mm. yeah and the bed was comfortable it was quite nice yeah. and it was warm enough we were warm enough yeah it pays that we are too it pays exactly so nice being married yeah <laughs> okay anyway yeah. so we're headed down for breakfast now yes um, I just want some tea, and some pancakes, and some sausages. Let's see what we get. We are done with breakfast. Your we are oh my earphones, yes, come with them. Yeah, we are headed back up to the room. We are all suited up, geared up, ready to bounce, ready to bounce. Zach is here putting on his suit. Well done, babe. <laughs> yeah, we're just about to leave. Um, we're just about to go down. Excited for the journey ahead, hoping it doesn't rain because it's been raining this morning, but we are hoping that it does not rain some more because we just do not want the rain. Thanks. Yeah. Go, go! Go, go! It's your birthday! <laughs>
This is him right now. These are his muddy boots. His shirt is wet. You should see the front of his shorts. They are so wet. And our bikes are being cleaned. Can you speak face us, please? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> The bikes were so muddy. We said if we get into the house and um, say we are gonna come wash them later, we are not gonna end up doing it. So we thought let's just bring them first and then go home. This is what my boots look like right now. Crazy, crazy. We're waiting for the bikes to be washed. I hope they're almost done. I'm so tired. I just want to get out of these wet clothes and just hug Mukeni. <laughs> I just want to be dry. I just, feel like I just want to be warm and dry. Those are my only two wishes in life right now. Warmness and dryness. Hi guys, we are back home. We have showered. We are fresh. I feel so good, so warm. I'm just in a t-shirt and sweats and socks. I feel so nice. Like I've never been so happy to get home. Ethan is not here, so I can't wait to see him later on when he comes home. But it's been so nice to see Mukeni. She's been well. She just stayed with the nanny the whole weekend. And now we have showered, we have freshened up, and I am just, I feel like, I just feel a nap coming. We've ordered some food, so we're going to eat that. And then I'm probably going to take a nap, but I feel so good to just be changed out of the clothes. Just, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Eating grapes. Did you miss us? You missed us? Mm. Oh, thank you. We missed you too, sweetie. We missed you so much. Just enjoying her grapes. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> hey guys, so it is much later on when we um, got home. We were just chilling with Mukeni because we had missed her so much. So I haven't really vlogged anything. And I was just about to end the vlog. And I just thought we're just going to give you guys some final thoughts of our stay at um, Lemon Valley, which we've already basically mentioned, right? We've basically mentioned what uh how it was the place was really nice we paid four thousand per person huh? four thousand per person per night is that how much you paid uh, for bed and breakfast the okay, general cost had, yeah uh, without the everything, extras yeah everything the bed and breakfast yeah all of us we split i think you had paid sixteen hundred sixteen hundred and then you paid eighty six hundred eighty six sixty six okay so that's yeah. about ninety six yeah. 10. So around 5,000 generally per person. So that was yeah. our dinner, the drinks we had, and um, breakfast. And generally, mm. the place was really, really nice. Like, it was really beautiful. The rooms were nice. Um, the food was good, right? Mm. The only thing now we didn't like is the fact that there was the party happening there at night, which really now made the us... The serving mostly... of the Nini was quite good, as in... The, serv the, the service, as in... Yeah, the, the service. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for breakfast, we had fruits first. You have yeah. masala tea, you had omelette, sausages, sausages wedges, fries. pancakes. Yeah. So, such good pancakes. Yeah. It was really, really nice. So, the only thing, honestly, that we didn't like about the place is just the fact that there was this party that was going on, which me meant that we couldn't So, it's sleep not well. about the place. It's about the whole thing. Yeah, it's actually... But the place was awesome. Sorry, guys, it's so dark now. You can't see us, but yeah, my hand was getting tired. Yeah, so the whole place was awesome. It's just that we wish they, I mean, I wish they had told us that there was going to be this party, like, in advance. Oh, yeah. Sindio, because so that now you, you're not, like, shocked, and now you, so all of a sudden, mm. you are not being able to sleep, and riding already, it's not easy. Like, you want to be able to rest nicely. Yeah. But yeah, it was nice. Um, Generally, would definitely recommend the place if you're looking for a place to go and hang out in Elementaita. What are you guys doing? Okay, okay. And then the ride bike back was quite eventful. Sit down. Yeah. The ride back was quite eventful because it was raining. There was so much fog. There was so much mud. It was just crazy. Like the visibility was so poor. Crazy drivers. Crazy drivers. I mean. mud on you. Shame on you. Why you? Did you see the number was, plate? Yes. Uganda number plates. Uganda number plate was driving from Elementator today. You know what? Be ashamed of yourself. Okay? Be ashamed. Yeah. My hand is so tired. No, oh, anyway, so the ride was really nice. The weekend was fantastic. It was so nice to go with you, babe. Love you. Love you too. Everything is so much more fun when you're there. 
okay guys so as usual please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below with your thoughts with your feedback with any questions you may have about the place or about the journey about anything and of course subscribe to my channel until next time Mukeni and Ethan say bye. 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 <laughs>